United States surpassed 300,000 COVID-19 related deaths today. And while we have seen some of the deadliest days in the pandemic over the last month, it is important to put the numbers into perspective as we approach the end of the year. MTN's John Riley does just that. A meme has been making the rounds on social media comparing recent daily COVID-19 related deaths to other casualty events in American history. While the recent daily death totals for COVID in the United States are a grave reminder of how many lives are being lost during the pandemic, it's not entirely fair to make a direct comparison. A terrorist attack or a natural disaster are devastating, but they are limited to a single area. The COVID-19 virus is affecting millions of Americans across the entire country over a long period of time. The CDC determines top mortality rates based on the number of deaths in a given year. In an average year, around 7,700 Americans die every day. 1,700 from heart disease, 1,600 from cancer, 450 from accidents, and 132 attributed to suicide. Montana averages 24 deaths a day. Around six a day is associated with heart disease, six with cancer, two with chronic lower respiratory disease, one to accidents, and less than one to suicides a day. The COVID-19 daily average since cases were first reported in the country comes out to around 910 COVID deaths a day, three a day for Montana. However, recent months have seen an exponential increase in the number of cases and deaths reported in the country. Just the month of November saw an average of 1,300 COVID deaths a day nationwide and 10 COVID deaths a day in Montana. The CDC tracks excess deaths, or deaths that are above the yearly averages, to gain a better perspective on public health crises. From January through October, the United States has seen 299,000 deaths more than a typical year during that time. Two out of three excess deaths have been attributed to COVID. Reporting in Helena, John Riley, MTN News. Montana did not release updated COVID-19 totals for the state today due to an upgrade to the COVID-19 reporting system. However, county health departments reported four additional deaths, bringing the statewide total to 840 individuals.